peace of the Lord be with us all. Today we celebrate the solemnity of Christ, the King of the universe, which also marks the last Sunday of the church's year, that is our liturgical year, year B. What can we learn from this solemnity? This solemnity was originally instituted by Pope Pius XI in 1925, at a point in time when the world was growing in secularism and atheism. After the First World War, when the so-called empires of Europe were put down, Pope Pius XI instituted the celebration to propagate and to perpetuate the fact that there was no power, there was no empire, there was no one greater than our God. And indeed, Christ is the King of the universe. Indeed, the saying goes that empty barrels make the most noise. Empty barrels make the most noise. We, in our world, make so much noise with our position, with our power, with the achievements we have made, and with all the things that we come into contact with. Jesus, who is King of the universe, comes inside us, comes with peace, comes in His majesty, not to intimidate us, but to give us hope, to give us salvation, to give us eternal life. That is why this celebration is of great relevance to us as Christians, when we continue to renew our love, to renew our commitment, to renew our allegiance to the King of the universe and to make a bold step in our world today that others may worship all sorts of ideologies, all sorts of things. But for us, we have put our trust in God. Yes, as the second video of today says, the Alpha and the Omega. Christ is indeed for us in our world today a beacon of hope as he has always been as Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 says Christ yesterday today and forever he reigns forever he is king forever and it is opportune that this celebration this solemnity falls on the last Sunday of the church's year Personally, it gives us the understanding that all that we have gone through for this year, this liturgical year, beginning from the first Sunday of Advent till now, Jesus, who is God, is King, has dominion, has power, and He is the one who has made it possible for us to be alive today. That is why today we celebrate the solemnity of Christ again. And again for the year ahead of us, you see, Christ is still king of that year. God is still in control of that year. So God is not only God of the present, but as I said, Hebrews 13, 8 makes it simple. And just as Jesus is yesterday, today, and forever, God is also saved. And we thank God for the gift of this great gift of humanity. All our orders to reflect on is to reflect on Christ, who is king, not like the kings of this world. Christ who is king, who sits on a donkey. Christ who is king, whose throne is the cross. Who on the cross of Calvary ruled the world. Given us hope and given us life. Life to the fullest. It is our prayer that we shall continue to follow Jesus. We shall allow Jesus to be king of every facet of our lives. Wherever we go, whatever we do, whatever we say, Christ would and will be the reason. Because we pay our allegiance and we totally belong to we pray that the solemnity we celebrate today will go a long way as we journey in this world to stand for the truth 
That is what Christ did this time. Pilate could not understand it. Pilate could not understand it. The world we have today wants to bring down the truth and to bring relativism. But there is no objective for truth. Nothing is real. Nothing is true. But Christ, who is King, tells us He has come for the truth. Let us, as we pay our allegiance to Him, be people of the truth. Live for the truth. Live in the truth. And always in in our hearts what truthfulness is in the mind. May God continue to guard our lives. May He continue to be the King of our lives. So that those who see us, who see in us Christ, the hope of glory. May God continue to bless us and grant us His peace. Amen. May God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Adore.